morning and welcome back to my channel and for today's video we're gonna be making salad with tofu I guess so I just came back from the fitness and I'm very hungry at the moment so I'll be making my lunch slash breakfast I had one banana and soy milk and protein for breakfast and then now I'll be making my kind of brunch I guess yeah Today's video is gonna be a cooking video, so I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So my house is a bit messy today because we've just cleaned the whole house and then cleared everything out. So it will be a bit messy if I put the camera here. You can see all the mess at the back, but please bear with my mess. So these are gonna be ingredients that we're gonna use today. So I got kale. Can you see me? I got this kale from um, Central Food Hall at Central Eastville. This is the organic something. Oh, it's from Organic Rangsit Farm. And this is like the first time I've ever seen kale in a supermarket. So I'm pretty excited to try to cook these. And then I got green onions and um, carrots. All of these are organic and these are small little tomatoes and tofu of course these are the other things we are going to need to use to make the sauce so they called for white vinegar but i don't have it so i'm gonna use rice vinegar instead i hope that's okay for this recipe i'm trying to make like a korean or how do i say it a korean like salad but i wanted to try to use kale instead of like lettuce and stuff and this is sesame seed oil sesame oil this is soy sauce this is fish sauce and then chili flakes this is from korean town in thailand so if you stay in thailand there's like a korean town in sukhumvit so you could find like all the korean you know supplies there so this is from there if you can't find it at supermarkets then go to korean town so yeah, that's all the things I'm gonna use for the sauce. So I'll start off by washing the veggies. So now that I have washed all my veggies, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these carrots and then cook it in the oven. First, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil. And then I'm gonna put these carrots in and then roll them around. Then I'm going to put some Himalayan salt. You could use any salt that is available at home, but I just had this laying around, so. And then you roll them around once more. And then I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I'll preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And then I'll be putting the carrots in when the oven's ready. So while my oven's preheating and I'm waiting for my carrots to be put in, I'll be cutting these vegetables. So for the kale, I'll be cutting them in like small slices. As so. I've got my kale all cut and then for the green onions, I'll be using my hand to peel it off like this. Now that my oven is preheated, I'm gonna put the carrots in. The top shelf. And then, yay. Cook well! So now that I've got my kale all chopped up and washed and my green onions inside, I will be I'll be seasoning this. So I forgot to mention this, but I'm gonna be putting two cloves of garlic in my salad too, so that is there in the salad. I'll be putting like two tablespoons of soy sauce and then a little bit of fish sauce around like one teaspoon or like half a teaspoon and then the vinegar I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of vinegar so around that goes in 
and then sesame oil. Since there's only a little left in my bottle, I'm gonna be putting all of this in. So around one teaspoon, I mean tablespoon. This part is customizable because if you don't like spicy, then you probably won't be able to survive two tablespoons. But I'll be putting around like one and a half and a little bit more. I'm gonna be putting in sesame seeds, the white ones. And then you mix all of this up. I'm just gonna use my hands. You want to mix this till all of the vegetables are covered in the sauce and it turns a little like soft, I guess. But it's all covered, so I'm gonna leave the vegetables aside. Go my hands. So now that I got my kale salad, I'm gonna move on to the tofu. So I cut these in, this is just white tofu, I don't know what to call them, but um, you just cut these into like little slices and then we'll fry them over the stove. I drizzled a little olive oil here so it doesn't stick to the pan. And then I'll be putting the tofus. So I'll be putting these down here. So let these cook for a while and then let's go check on the carrots. Ta-da! So these are my carrots that I think is done now. So I'm just gonna rest them on top and then just wait for it to chill a little and then I'll be put I'll be plating them. I have flipped the tofus and this is what it looks like at the moment. Oops. Oh no, it's sticking. So this is the finished product. The, these are the tofus. I didn't season them because this is already like, you know, flavorful. So is that a word? Um, this is already like salty and spicy, so I'll just put that and eat with that. And then these are my carrots that I put on the side, which I look forward to. And we'll be tasting this. So I'll be trying the salad first. It's pretty close to like the one I eat at Korean Town, but I think the kale is good too with these um, seasoning, but. I like lettuce better, like way better. So next time I'm doing this, I might put lettuce in instead of kale. I'm just experimenting with kale. But this is not bad at all. So if you wanna try like some, you know, kale seasoning that is different, that is not olive oil and salt, then this is pretty good too. This is so good. Like you don't have to season them. If you just eat them with the kale, then it's so good. If you haven't tried these yet, then you probably should try it once in your life. This is so good with the tofu, so if you decided to make these, then please make the tofu too. If you don't like kale, then you can obviously put other vegetables in. If you can't find kale, kale is not available around your area, then lettuce is very good too. I really like eating this with lettuce instead of kale, so. So next, I'm gonna try these. I cook these around like 20 minutes because my my oven is not like an, a big oven it's like a microwave oven so it takes like a little bit more time I guess but this is obviously gonna be good because it's just carrot baked in an oven and then seasoned by olive oil and salt which you can't fail so if you want something to snack on or like a side to your meal then this is really good too I'm gonna be eating my meal now, so this is a wrap up and a goodbye to this video. I hope you like this video and I'll try my best to do more English speaking vlogs if I can because I enjoy doing them and I like making these English vlogs so if you like it, please give me a thumbs up so I can know that you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I have a PO box so you can send me stuff or red letters to talk to me or you know whatever um that is a goodbye for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again tomorrow goodbye <laughs>